All right, guys, so I ended up keeping one white bass out of the 33 that we kept. Uh, Chris said he had no, no fish in the freezer, so we gave him a bunch of them. Um, we gave some guys at the boat ramp some white bass because they had only caught one. And then Wilson took the rest of them, and, you know, all of them will be eaten. But uh, I'm going to put this guy in the oven with some tempo, uh with some complete seasoning and some olive oil. I'm probably going to bake it for about mm, 30 minutes, maybe, about 400 degrees. We're going to see how it turns out. All right, guys, so here's the baked uh, white bass. You can see a little better now. Um, Man, my mom and daddy and my grandma would have killed me for leaving the head on them, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, we're going to taste him. We're going to flake him out and see how it turns out. All right, so first I'm going to point out that uh, the little bit of red meat that's down the backbone was definitely easy to get rid of with basically just a fork. So we're going to see what it tastes like. All right, guys, so that's basically what we ended up with uh, after I got the, the fish off of the, uh, the bones. I'm pretty sure that there's a little bit more than I can get out of that, but uh, so let's try it and see what it tastes like. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. And you know me. I had to cook it with the head on because you know I do like to eat the eyeballs. Never eat any bite baked, but uh I feel like they help me see like the fish do. There's the cornea. Oh, where'd it go? There's the cornea. Man, these guys have big corneas in their eyes. So anyway. That's the white bass I ate tonight. I am the Sunfish Assassin, and this was tonight's supper.